Welcome back to the Caribbean Globe YouTube channel with myself, Richard, and Kevin. Kevin, how are you going? What's up? Yeah, we are going back there and there and there. So um, thank, thank you for clicking on our, our video again today. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get all the information that we have. Um, so you have some news for, for us today? You know, big thing I go on, man. The Jamaica reggae girls look like them. You know, Jamaica get to beat Canada, you know, in a under 20 game. Conquer Cup women football. You know, we get 3 1 victory too. So the margin was very, was very large. So congratulations to the reggae girl and big up, big up themselves, man. Racing at Cayman as Park looked to uh, be heading uh, for some postponement with some virus. Oh, that's about affecting the corona. The... <laughs> no, the corona yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if for the coronavirus, but it's a fever thing too. Uh, showing signs of fever, you know, so that affect racing. I know racing in Jamaica is a big thing that affects yeah. many, many things, you know, and um, um, Supreme yes. Ventures would have been a major partner in another racing business now, so big is money. Is the Saturday's racing meet that then postponed? Uh, then postponed, yeah. Well, you know, but most importantly, you know, um, somebody somebody I followed, oh, Kevin, I'll come up on this piece of news this morning that, you know, um, former reggae boy and national player Irvina Dada English was shot and killed um, by kind of disappointment to hear that because this is somebody I follow and I went on his Facebook page and looked the last time I make a post and I see something Sunday yeah. if they there, if they there I sing a song to Kevin Moon my mood I love to send another post there again you know make people see the last time hi saw him you know yeah. on his Facebook page it says former yeah. reggae boys Irving or Dada English was on Wednesday evening shot and killed in his community of Waterhouse, and who knows him play for Waterhouse for years, years and years. Skillful baller, yeah. you know. What, so um, him, live, him live in a Waterhouse, or I'm just going to Yeah, man, that, uh, well, I don't think him live in a Waterhouse again, but I think him go there and visit because he's, an, he's, a, he's one of the coaches over there too, you know, and him help out quite a bit, you know, yeah. with that. Of course, we know that he recently was assigned to, you know, the, his, his alma mater, Woolmers, that he... Um, went to as a schoolboy um, as one of the assistant coaches there yeah. as well and was helping out there. Um, the news said um, and he was taken to the hospital, but you know, um, undergoing treatment, he died. Um, the police had confirmed. So we look forward to, to hearing more details of, of what that news is. But you know, just to give you a synopsis of who Irving English is, Irving English, um, a former captain of the Waterhouse football team for many years to him lead Waterhouse football team for, for many, many, many years. Um, five times it says in the news um, for the reggae boys that he played for in the early 2000s. Um, he attended Wilma's boys school where he represented them in football. And of course, at, I think, you know, um, he had left Wilma's and went to Norman Manley as well, where he helped Norman Manley to gain that 1996 Manning Cup championship too. Yeah. Um, so, you know, big things are going on. Um, of course, he has a son now that is represented Woolmers at the Manning Cup level too. So, um, yeah. really so kind of lost, disappointed to hear them yeah. kind of news there. Yeah. We lost an icon uh, uh, football. Yeah, icon. yeah, yeah. That, that, that oh. really, really, really disappoints me, you know, to hear that. Because I'm normally, normally up on my Facebook page and follow me too. So, yeah. Um, Condolences and, to his family yeah. and all his relatives. Um, up, up. Yeah, man. It's difficult. It's difficult to console someone in a, in a situation like this. But uh, yeah, hope for the yeah. best. Yeah, and, you know, condolences to the to the Waterhouse football team. Yeah. Too, you know, and um, and of course the Jamaica Football Federation. Federation and the family of of you know footballers in Jamaica would have played with him many times because you know he's a skillful guy. Um, and because no, because very talented. Of coaching, you'd have imagined that he would have touched a lot of lives, a lot of football, uh, footballers, yeah. footballers' lives. Guys, they, 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 his, his team, whoever he was coaching, you can imagine how how them feeling today. Yeah, man, Wolves are one of them big team. They're in the money cup as usual, you know. So you know, so it must it must affect them now, you know. And if you have an icon like like this, a coach them and you know, deal with them. It must must affect them. But you know, um, all the best, and you know, I hope that somebody can get down to the bottom of this and see what's going on here but you know, too much things are going on yeah um, we have some new, some news about the u.s um, yeah but president trump yeah but kevin you know i don't know people always have a problem with 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 immigrants to them country but me have a personal thing though kevin and me always say you know the immigrants is what build countries are built first world countries 
you know, but when anything anything at all are going on, the first thing them always speak on is immigrant. But yeah, yet but this, still, this is actually, immigrant is a immigrant positive. is a immigrant is a give them is a give them is a help to build all economies, all first world country economies around. You know, if you take immigrants out right, you know, all of the first world country then. Them economy gone because I'm not a workforce. Because immigrants are who come to your country come work. I don't know the positive in this thing. But let me let me just read a little bit of it though, Kevin. Mm. Coming out of Washington, CMC, you know, uh, the United States have implemented a new law for Caribbean and other foreign nationals who are permanent residency or green card order that we popularly know it as. According to the United States Citizen and Immigration Services, uh, USCIS, green card holders who fail to um, yeah, green card who fail to, to fail to admit that they are immigrants. How can you fail to admit that you are immigrants when filing their income tax return, or who fail to report some um, some of their in, uh, some of their income who result would result in deportation? Caribbean men between the age of 18 and 25 who also fail to register with the U.S. Selective Services could also um, be deported. That was reported yeah. from uh, CSIC. Yeah, it's Richard, a positive all, thing. All I'm saying is it was played by the rules. You go to you go to America, you go to the US. Uh, yeah. Just follow the rules. I, I'm apparently people being cutting corners in it just for to get benefits. So they, they might just straighten up the thing. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna find some ways around it anyway. But them just are straighten up the thing. Yeah. Well, you know, if it, is it for that no, Kevin? Um, and when we read this thing and understand it, um, people are supposed to pay them taxes. Um, and, and I'm seeing something, of course, um, Yvette Clark, and of course her mother was a congresswoman before her too, um, has been expressing outrage over the United States Supreme Court ruling that allow the Trump administration to deny green card holders to, uh, to Caribbean and other immigration and other immigrants who may need government aid as a product as a product of the hope and dreams of an immigrant family i am outraged by the supreme court's decision to implement the public charge rule a cruel policy donald trump has crafted to jeopardize the lives of our nation's most vulnerable clark the daughter of jamaican immigrant the daughter of a jamaican immigrant Toll um, CMC. Historically, the United States has served as a place of for uh, as place of refugees for individuals around the world seeking to fulfill American dreams. Added the representative for the ninth congressional district in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Immigrants are our neighbors, our friends, leaders in our community, and even our members of Congress. Yeah, so. She kind of disturbed by the whole thing, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, she has to say that, innit? Because obviously, she have to, but she she have she have forget um the the grassroots on her side. But it, would them not really deport people? Basically, if you fill out the forms correctly, then everything will be fine. Yeah, but what I'm doing, now, Kevin, is a simple thing like they uh, might criminalize you based on the fact that you have misrepresented your, your your taxes. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's the that's the that's significant thing of the thing, you know. The good the good thing about it, Richard, is that they make it clear, you know. So I mean, you, you can't say never know. Yeah, a man can't say, well, well I mean, never know, and then you know they make it clear what the rules are now. So when you have to fill out your form, put the right information there, and you know you're Chris. That is the deportation part, right? So now them are other and other thing else. You, so you, on, you so have on. to be a criminal for getting but it, deportation. But it's, it's illegal anywhere in other in other US. So, um, yeah, but the deportation the, the deportation part of the whole thing, you know. So well, if you like, not file like anything properly, if you not file like anything properly, the I just like what I'm in the UK. Obviously, if you break the rules, them them already outline it that if you break the rules, there are consequences for breaking the rules. Yeah, but what why put a rule? But well, why put a rule? Why put a rule in place just for immigrants? Well, I'm not just for immigrants. It's just cause no, but this are this are just for immigrants. This is a this is a law that they pass just for immigrants. You yeah, but them can't deport them can't them, them can't deport American citizens, man. What am I gonna deport them to? No, man, no, no. The deportation, yeah, say, man. What I'm talking about is them them just put a law in place. Say, boy, if you break the law, you're going to deport you too. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
Uh, oh, me glad to them, they make it yeah. clear. So, you know, some people get deported and them say, why? Well, I never know. I never know, say, this was the rule. Or I never know I had to do this or I had to do. No, them know it out of the open. It, it, and it and, and, and let, me, let me be clear now, Kevin. I support everything that everybody must pay them taxes because you benefit from the state. But you're supposed to pay your taxes, file it properly, and you know contribute to the country if you are benefit. Okay, thank you for watching the Caribbean Globe on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe. See you again with another edition tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>